Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're finding these videos on Azure useful. In today's session, I'm here to show you how you can take or you can capture the image of your servers running within Azure portal. And uh, just a uh, heads up that this is no way a replacement of the backup solution. So it is very important that you have to uh, protect your machines by using some sort of uh, backup services but you can use this as a complement to whatever backup solution you're using, right? Uh, so we will see all the steps involved when it comes to capturing and we'll also uh, check if the data is also saved or not. So as you can see, I have a server running with the name WS. It is in the resource group Azure RG and it is in Canada Central, right? So if I expand this, you can see that I have this capture button. But uh, before we uh, do that, uh, let me just open the RDP session with this machine. And what I want to do is I just want to create some data in this and uh, test it if that will be saved or not. So I'm on to my uh, uh, web server with the name WS. And let's create some document here. So let me go to my desktop, create a folder, Let's save this, okay, and uh, we'll also create one in the C drive. Okay, that should be enough. Yes, I want to save it and let's close this. So let's go to the portal and uh, you can see the capture button. So we're gonna go and initiate this and we have to just put few information. So it is asking for the uh, name for this image. So I'm gonna name it say WS image 101. Uh, we need to put this in a resource group. So I'm going to create a new resource group for this with the name image RG. And uh, if you check this box, it will automatically delete our web server that we have. So what I want to do is I'm not going to do that, but just in case you check this, your uh, server with the name in my case, WS will be deleted. So I'm not going to do that. So I've named the image that will be created and uh, the resource group it will be residing and you just click on create. And another heads up, when you click on the create button, the machine that it is creating the image from will be deallocated, so it is stopping. So that is what the notification was about, which is okay. So let's wait for a moment for this image to be created. The whole idea, I think, or the use case for this functionality is that maybe you have done some update or you were testing some patches on the server and uh, something catastrophic happened and the whole machine got corrupted, right? If you had this image, you can obviously go back and spin this up and it will be in the state before that, uh, uh, before that uh, patch or that you were trying to apply. So I think that's a good, good option. 
so the image was created successfully so you see that uh, we got that notification so if you go to all services and if I just type in image you see I have the image option so I'm gonna go inside and uh, this is the image that was created so the operating system is Windows because my machine OS was server 2019 and let's go inside and expand this and here you see you have this create VM button so I'm gonna go and click on create VM and we just have to go through the regular stuff that we do when we create this virtual machine so let me put this in the resource group with the name ITS video resource group click OK and uh, the name of this virtual machine I'm gonna name it WS 101 it will be in Canada Central because that is where my original VM was and uh, it is asking me to pick the size so let me just quickly pick D2SV3 Let's open the RDB port because we want to test that our data was saved. Select your disk, pick the networking, and uh, I don't need any boot diagnostic for this. And let's go and review and create. And after final validation, we'll hit on create button. So let's wait for this virtual machine to spun up so you see my original uh, Windows Server is in stopped or deallocated because uh, as I mentioned that uh, when you create that image your machine is deallocated or stopped so after a few moments so you can see that it is in creating stage RWS 101 so, so far it is all going as per the plan. I'm just waiting for the status to change from creating to running and uh, after we arrive at that point I will try to RDP into the machine.
for some reason it is saying that the deployment was failed let's go inside and check that okay is saying that operating system provisioning for the VM did not finish in the allocated time okay so you see these are good troubleshooting steps okay, let me just go back one more time though the machine is in the running state but let me just go inside and uh, try to connect and see how I'm able to do so I'm just going to download the RDP file because generally in case the machine is not created successfully I should not be seeing the running stage uh, running state of the machine but uh, as you can see that I'm able to log in into the machine and uh, I just want to check one more thing that my data was saved or not hmm everything seems to be working fine that's weird why I got uh, that uh, that notification so you see this folder that we created is there with an MITS let me see the document which is uh, the one that I created mm, it's all good okay let me go inside my operating system drive and uh, I remember that I also created one more document in this with the name Azure. Hmm, it all seems to be working fine, but for some reason I got uh, the deployment. But uh, as I said, that if the deployment fails for any reason, I should not be able to log into the machine and. Uh, at uh, this point it should say that uh, the deployment failed in this but it seems uh, everything is working fine but at least you get an idea about you know how to capture uh, your virtual machine and uh, you saw that from end to end the steps involved and we also saw that our data is also saved that is very critical because we want to make sure that in case something happens to our original virtual machine we are able to go back with this image and it will bring uh, the way it was the state in. I hope you found this video on Azure useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.